All right, the president is saying that he is okay with anyone who wants to boycott uh, Harley Davidson over this uh, effort the company has right now to move a plant, several plants, I should say, overseas. Center for Freedom and Prosperity Chairman Dan Mitchell on all this. Dan, this is getting nasty. It has been nasty, but I think Trump is blaming the victim. Uh, Harley Davidson has an incentive to increase their operations overseas, not because they're going to sell those motorcycles back to America, but because they want to earn market share abroad. That's something we should applaud. Uh, but the problem is, is that Trump's steel and aluminum tariffs are making it expensive for Harley Davidson to build motorcycles in the U.S. Uh, so Trump should be looking in the mirror instead of blaming the company. You know, I'm wondering, though, uh, I've heard, uh, you know, my friend Charles Payne talking about the fact that Harley Davidson uh, was planning this all along and that it, uh, the company was kind of using the president. I'm, I'm, I'm characterizing his comments, not quoting them, uh, and that uh, this is really not the reason or the rationale for this. What do you, what do you make of that? I'm obviously not sitting inside the boardroom at Harley Davidson, uh, but any American company uh, worth its salt is going to try to earn market share abroad. And that's something that politicians in Washington should be applauding, because the more our companies can earn market share, sell to foreign consumers, even if the plants are based overseas, that's still going to be good news for Americans. Uh, and, and for Trump to now go after the company and potentially damage them in the long run to the benefit of foreign companies, I, I don't know. It doesn't make sense at all. Now, obviously, the pressure is on. If you're an American company, if you even think of, of switching jobs overseas, you're going to rue the day. And yet, far bigger companies have far more workers abroad, uh, you know, uh, getting paid at a fraction of what they would get paid in the United States. Apple, for example, comes to mind. Um, is it a double standard? It's a double standard, but it shouldn't be. We benefit as a country. We have lots of exports as a country because American companies are operating overseas. That's to our advantage. We want to get that market share. Now, I give Trump credit. His deregulatory steps, his lower corporate tax rate, these are things that are going to strengthen American companies, make them more competitive. But he's taking away with his left hand what he did good with the right hand by doing this protectionism. Now, I hope he has this three-dimensional chess game going on, and it's really all about, you know, playing hardball to get other companies, other countries to lower their tariffs. But I worry that it might be motivated by protectionism.